Hello, Sixth Standard, CBC children. Have a good day. Have a nice day. I hope you are doing well. Yes, sir. Good. Today, we are going to do chapter number 7, Getting to Know Plants, part 4, as video number 7. Okay. So far, we have completed 6 videos where we have learnt <coughs> Uh, first three videos for component, sorry, first lesson, food, for, from where does it come and uh, second one, uh, in three videos, then videos 4, 5, 6, we have started this lesson, chapter 7, getting to know plants, where we have learnt about herbs, shrubs, trees, climbers and creepers. They are all called habits of the plant. And then we have learned parts of the flower. Plant as root, stem, leaf, flower, fruits and seeds. I hope you remember. And then in the next one we have learned parts of the plants as root system and shoot system. I hope you remember that parts of the plant as root system and shoot system and under root system we have learnt um, tap root system and fibrous root system and the characteristic features of roots and then functions of roots. What are the functions of roots we know? It is fixation or anchorage and then fixing that is fixing the plant firmly in the soil and then it is as absorption of water and minerals from the soil. This is for root system. Whereas shoot system we have learned as presence of nodes and internodes and then terminal and axillary bud. I hope you remember that. And then the functions of the stem as with the uh, bearing leaves on their nodes and then meant for transportation of water and food material where the stem is considered as two-way traffic. I hope you remember. Hmm? And then we have learned about structure of leaf and venation, the types of venation. Arrangement of veins on the leaf is known as Venation. I hope you recollect all this. Huh? And then today in video 7 we are going to learn about functions of leaves and structure of flower. Okay? Functions of leaf and structure of flower. What are the functions of leaf we know? It is as photosynthesis, transpiration, respiration and modifications. Okay, that we will study. Then the structure of the flower as <coughs> one minute. The structure of the flower that we know. What are all we can guess? Structure of the flower. It is as it is as structure of the flower. I am showing this is a flower. So this is a flower. What is it? As structure of the flower where we come across two terms. Flower, we come across two terms. One is solitary. One is solitary and in cluster. When the flowers occur single, it is called solitary flower. What flower is this, you know? This is chamber tea, shoe flower. Is it not? Or china rose we call. So this shoe flower, it occurs single in a plant. That is called solitary flower. When the flowers occur in single, it is known as solitary flowers. When the flowers occur in cluster, this is a center branches where the flowers will be 
When they are occurring in clusters, it is called inflorescence. It is known as inflorescence. What is the spelling? I-N-F-L-O-R-E-S-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E. I repeat, inflorescence, I-N-F-L-O-R-E-S-C-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Inflorescence. I hope you understand. Hmm? So when the flowers occur in single, separately, that is called solitary flower. When the flowers are in cluster, it is called Pukutkuta Pukula, that is cluster. That is known as inflorescence. And at the same time, the inflorescence, they are arranged on the flowers are arranged on the common branches. This is called branches. R A C H I S. Okay. So the inflorescence, they are born on a common stalk that is called branches. Are you clear? Huh? So we come across the term keywords. I say keywords. Some of them are in the book, some are not. First is branches. Second, inflorescence. Second, inflorescence. Third, solitary. Then, fourth word, we are going to learn pedicle. Fifth one, pedicel. And the sixth one, video. Now, we are going to learn three terms. One is pedicle. Pedicil and pediol. What do you understand? Pedicil spelling P E D U N C L E. Pedicil. Pedicil P E D I C E L. Pedicil. And pediol P E T I O L E. Pediol. I hope you understand. Yeah? So in this, the stalk of the leaf is called petiole. We have studied. Do you remember? When we study the leaf, the stalk of the leaf is called petiole. Okay? The same way, the stalk of the inflorescence, the stalk of the inflorescence, it is called pedicle. Pedicle. Okay? The stalk of the inflorescence, it is known as pedicle. So this is for inflorescence. And the stalk of the flower, it is known as pedicel. And the stalk of the petiole, it is the stalk of the leaf is called petiole. Okay. I hope you understand. So all of them are three, three, three. Hmm? Now can you see this green color? Here, that is the pedicel. Stock of the flower is known as pedicel. Are you clear? Hmm? So, with three terms, pedicel, flower, sorry, pedicel, stock of the inflorescence, pedicel, stock of the flower, petiole, stock of the leaf. Okay? And all these, if they are absent, if these pedicel, pedicel and petiole are absent in these three, they are said to be sessile. They are said to be sessile. Absence of pedicel or pe pedicel or petiole. Are you clear? Hmm? So this is for first step. And this new terms, keywords, we call it as scientific term or technical terms. Now, particularly, we learnt it as technical terms. I hope you understand. So, this is for the first occurrence of flower. And then, we learn about terminal bud. We learn about terminal bud. 
and axillary bud. Terminal bud and axillary bud. What do you understand? When the flowers are born at the tip, it is called terminal in position. When the flowers are on in between the leaf, it is said to be axillary. So flower, when they are born on between the axil of the leaf, it is said to be axillary in position. At the tip, it is said to be terminal in position. I hope you understand. Huh? Then we say flower, fruits and seeds are the reproductive part of the flower. Yeah, the flowers, fruits and seeds are the reproductive part of the flower, uh, plant. And root, stem and leaf are the vegetative part of the flower, plant. Is it not? So when the plant grows, the root, stem and leaf will grow. Then when the reproduction will start, how do we know? We say that the flower is going to bloom. Appearance of bud. That is appearance of bud. So the appearance of bud is the first sign of the reproduction. Appearance of bud is the first sign of reproduction. Appearance of bud is the first sign of reproduction. And then flower reproduces by sexual method. Flower reproduces by sexual method. I hope you understand. Hmm? So this is for terminal and axillary bud. So appearance of bud is the first sign of reproduction. Are you clear? Hmm? So this is just an introduction. Okay, now we see, now we see the parts of the flower. We will see the parts of the flower. What do we know? Parts of the flower as first pedicel, first pedicel, stalk of the flower pedicel and then calyx. Corolla, calyx, corolla, andrisium, calyx, corolla, andrisium, and gynesium. We say the parts of the flowers, they are, pedicel is the stalk of the flower, calyx, corolla, andrisium, and gynesium. Now we say this is stalk. Who come to Jalula? Then calyx formed of sepals and corolla formed of petals and gynesium formed of stamens and uh, sorry, andrisium is formed of stamens and gynesium is the so I repeat, stalk of the flower is called stalk of the flower is called pedicel. The outermost layer calyx formed of sepals, and then corolla formed of petals. Andrisium is the stamen, and gynesium is the pistil. These are the parts of the flower. In that, we say these are all whorls of the flower. These are all four whorls of the flower. Sorry. Where calyx and corolla, they are accessory whorl. They are called accessory whorl or non-essential whorl. Whereas, andrisium and gynesium, they are the 
essential word. I hope you are listening. Huh? What is it? As calyx formed of sepals, green in color, and corolla formed of petals. Here in this hibiscus, it is red in color. Sure. And andrician is the male part of the flower, and gynecium is the female part of the flower. Sure. Now in this flower, what I am showing, now what I am holding, this is the stalk of the flower. Okay, and then can you see green color? Huh? So this is and this. Now this green color, what I am holding again, or then touching, that is the calyx. The green part of the flower is called calyx and that is formed of sepals. Calyx structure like this. That is formed of sepal. Calyx formed of sepals. And then <coughs> this is calyx formed of sepals. Okay. And then is corolla, what you are seeing, this is calyx and then corolla, can you see all these red colors, these are corolla formed of petals, okay. now usually petals are larger or showy in a solitary flower <coughs> and they are usually brightly colored and here they are five in numbers. So what you are seeing is the corolla formed of petals. Okay. So now here calyx, sepals, corolla, petal, they are accessory or non-essential word. They are just meant for attraction. Whereas ambition formed of stamens that in turn is having stamens that in turn having structure like this stamens <coughs> having a stalk called filament and anther lobe. This is anther, this is pollen, and this is filament. Stalk of the and stem. This is stamen. I hope you understand. Hmm? So I say this is the andrician is the main part of the flower and it is formed of stalk called filament and a cap like anther which in turn having pollen grain. I hope you understand. Hmm? And then gynecium, it is the female part of the flower where it is called pistil. Gynecium or it is known as pistil. Where it is having basal swollen ovary structure like this. It will be like this. This is ovary, this is style, and this is known as stigma. This is stigma. Okay, so style, ovary, style, and stigma. That is for pistil. I hope you follow this. Yeah? So here, now this. Uh, Flower, just follow. I am holding the stalk, pedicel, and then green color. Okay? And then you carefully remove the petals. Just carefully you remove the petals. I hope you understand. Huh? I am removing the petal. I will show you. Removing the petal. Removing the petal. 
So now what I am see, showing you this is the in high viscous it is andrisium and gynesium and then this green color is separately as calyx. I hope you understand. Hmm? So this calyx is there and then center what I am holding is the stamen uh, sorry andrisium and gynesium. Are you clear? Huh? So the andrisium and gynesium are the essential part of the flower for sexual reproduction. Okay. So now this petal normally would be arranged like this. High viscous we arrange like this. Okay. Now here this petal when you draw a single petal, it will be like this. Yeah? The whole corner will be, uh, it is wavy, somewhat wavy in nature. Can you see? Corner of the tip of that. Here, it is somewhat wavy area. That is called fringed margin. This is known as fringed margin. This is known as fringed margin. I hope you understand. Hmm? So this is the initial stru structure of the flower. Okay. So now when you, when you are asked to observe a flower, I am giving you a hibiscus flower like this and I am asking you to observe this. Are you clear? Yeah? That time you will say you have to write certain points as first. This also come as a keywords. Okay. So first, the flower is complete. Flower is complete. Regular and bisexual. Complete. Regular bisexual. I hope you understand. Hmm? So, here all the four worlds, when all the four worlds, what are all? Calyx, corolla, andrisium, and gynesium. When all the four worlds are present, the flower is said to be complete. Okay? And when all the four worlds, if we take sepals, they are similar in size and shape. When you take petals, they are similar in size and shape. Same way with the andrisium and gynesium. And they are said to be complete flower or perfect flower. Complete or perfect flower. I hope you understand this. Huh? And the flower is said to be bisexual, binato. Huh? So when both the andrisium and gynesium are present in the same plant, same flower, it is said to be bisexual flower. Can you understand this? Huh? When both the uh, andrisium and gynesium are present in the same flower, it is said to be bisexual flower. I hope you understand. Yeah? We will just continue. This will continue. Yeah? Now just observe this. What you are seeing? Green. Can it? That are the, those green color structures are the sepals. And what you are seeing? Can you see the petals here? Yeah? And you have to arrange the Petals like this. I hope you understand. So now I say <coughs> this is a whole flower, full flower, and then these are the sepals, calyx formed of sepals, and these are the petals. I have arranged petals like this. We arrange like this, yes? Yeah? See here. So the petals are arranged like this. One minute. 
petals arranged like this. You also should try at home like this. Okay. So I say calyx formed of sepals, corolla formed of petals, and albicia is the male part of the flower. Albicia is the male part of the flower. Where here in hibiscus, in uh, hibiscus that is shoe flower, can you see the center one? That are what I said, the antheshium and gynoecium together represented like this. Okay. So now this antheshium and gynoecium, one minute I'll come. Just follow. <coughs> this antheshium and gynoecium, they are as called staminal tube. They are as staminal tube. Where inside this we find whitish structure and these are the stamens. Stamens are arranged like this and then ending in stigma. Ending in stigma. These are the stamens. Okay. And this is called staminal tube. <coughs> Spelling for it, they are staminal tube. I hope you understand. So we learn one more term, staminal tube. Staminal tube. Sure. So now here we say this staminal tube, <coughs> staminal tube encloses andrisium and gynoecium. See here, one minute. This Staminal tube encloses andrisium and gynoecium. I have just separated, just I'll show you. I have just separated <coughs> as, see here, I repeat, here what you are seeing coming above, that is the staminal tube where it encloses andrisium and gynoecium. And as such, it is enclosing only the gynoecium. Otherwise, I say gynoecium is enclosed by the andrisium, and this andrisium uh, enclosed by the staminal tube where it bears numerous stamens. What you are seeing is yellow color dot dot dot, they are called stamens. Okay? Now, when this staminal tube is torn, or the picture is going, we find Structure like this. What I am holding, can you see? What I am holding, that is, this is stamen and I am holding the staminal tube in my left. This is staminal tube with the numerous stamens. And this is, can you see white structure? This is the style. This is the style. Okay. So now this. White color, what I am holding here, that is the ovary. So we say style long, sorry, uh, ovary long style. Can you see this white type? That is long style ending in stigma, in hibiscus, in shoe flower. In this China rose chamberthy, the stigma, they are five in number. In other cases, they are only single stigma. I hope you understand. Hmm? So, this is andrisium. Gynoecium and andrisium. I hope you understand. So, again, I show you. This is the staminal tube where numerous stamens are arranged. Now, this stamen, can you see yellow color? That is the anther. And then small hair like red. Can you see here? Huh? That is the filament. So the stalk of the anther, the stalk of the anther is called filament, and the cap-like structure it is known as anther. And that anther is enclosing the pollen grain. I hope you understand. Huh? So this is forming the structure of the flower. Just introduction, first part of the 
video we have learned. So this is forming the structure of the flower. Okay. So now what are all the further description about addition Ganesh method that we will continue. Okay. So now here the terms what we are learning regarding the flowers. What are all first petals first branches stalk of the tree where the flowers are born on the common branches in an inflorescence we have learned about branches where the flowers are born on common structure they are called branches and then when the cluster of flowers are born on a common branches this is called inflorescence when the cluster of flowers are born on a common branches that is known as inflorescence okay and then solitary when the flower occurs in single it is solitary okay then peduncle stalk of the inflorescence is called peduncle stalk of the flower is known as pedicel stalk of the leaf is called petiole okay and then if these three in peda in uh, inflorescence in the flower and in the uh, leaf if this stalk is absent then they are said to be sessile i hope you remember this can i recollect yeah but hmm? and then we say calyx parts of the flower they are formed of four whorls the parts of the flower they are formed of four whorls what are they as <coughs> four whorls as calyx formed of sepals corolla formed of petals and rhizium formed of stamens and gynoecium formed of pistil in these four whorls calyx is the outermost whorl outermost whorl na namage paakolle this outer so the outermost whorl is the calyx and second one is the corolla the red color second one is the corolla formed of petals okay and calyx it protects the flower in a wet condition function of calyx it protects the flower in a wet condition okay whereas corolla the petals are attractively colored and showy in a and uh, so on when the flowers are in single they are normally large and showy and they are meant for pollination attracting the insects for pollination and anthrium is the main part of the flower on the stamens now what is the structure of stamen having a stalk for filament and cap like anther that in turn encloses the male gamete pollen grain okay whereas pistil it is formed of basal swollen ovary basal swollen ovary here but it is as moment <coughs> can you see here this white structure basal swollen ovary and then a long style white color long style ending in stigmatic branches so we say gynoecium basal swollen ovary a long style ending in stigma and in this high discus shoe flower or uh, china rose or a chamber thing the stigma it is five in number five branch whereas in other flowers there is only one stigma okay so we say basal swollen ovary long style ending in five stigmatic branches and then this ovary is enclosing the ovules another term we are learning ovary is enclosing the ovules ovary is enclosing the 
ovules. Now this ovule later become the seeds. These ovules when they are forming a fruit, when the flower formed, when the ovary becomes the fruit, the ovules will become as a seeds. I hope you understand. Hmm? So this is for the parts of the flower where calyx and corolla they are called accessory whorl or non-essential whorl and the antisem and gynesium are termed as essential whorls because calyx is just protecting the flower in a bad condition and uh, corolla they are meant for attracting the insects during pollination. Whereas andrisium and gynesium, they are the reflective part of the flower as andrisium is have the male sex organ and gynesium is the female sex organ. I hope you understand. Huh? So in this structure alone, I am going to tell you like, and I am going to tell but you should know to draw by yourself. In the assignment, I am going to diagram came in. When the diving gives she didn't write the salopradi, you have to learn from this white mobile. Then the flower, you are given a flower. So I have given a flower high discus. Then you should know to say whether the flower is having all these technical terms. And the, a flower is said to be complete, regular, perfect. What does it mean? When all the four worlds are present, the flower is said to be complete. And when all the four worlds are in equal size and shape, it is said to be regular flower. Okay. And then again, when all the four worlds are present, it is said to be perfect flower also. And then it is Bisexual. When both the sex organs, andrisium and gynesium, when they are present in the same flower, it is said to be bisexual flower. Okay? And then we come across a term staminal tube, where in high distress, the gynesium is enclosing, enclosed by the staminal tube where numerous stamens are attached, okay? And uh, this staminal tube, where numerous stamens are entered. <coughs> when you see the structure, red one is the staminal tube, and all these yellow ones, they are stamens. And then, the stamen is thin, hard, like a red color, that is the filament, okay? So, they are staminal tube that encloses the gynesium, okay? And then ovules, when the ovary becomes the fruit, ovule will become the seed. I hope you understand. Huh? So this is the technical term for the flower. Then we come across another term as for bisexual, we are learning another term Unisexual. We come across a term unisexual where flower with only male sex organ it is said to be staminate flower. I repeat the bisexual when both the sex organs are present in the same flower, right? And we come across another term, unisexual, where when the flower, it is not necessary that all the flowers are bisexual. Some of them are called unisexual flowers. That means they have only one sex organ, male or female. So when the flowers having only male sex organ, angrisia, then it is said to be staminate flower. Same way, when the flower has only uh, gynesium, then it is said to be pistillate flower. I hope you understand. Yeah? So this is what staminate and pistillate 
flowers. Sorry. So when we learn bisexual flower, you should know about in a letter. Bisexual na both Andresium and Gynesium should be there. And then for unisexual, you should have staminate and pistillate flowers. I hope you understand. Yeah? So this is for the structure of flower. Just the keywords go through for that. Go through the keywords, then I'll continue. Keywords. So what are all you learn that you have to understand? Okay. As flower, in our textbook, it is given flower. I showed you China rose flower. Yeah, I learned it. They are, it is not necessary when you see when you are given different kinds of flowers. All the flowers are not of the same size and shape or same color. Is it not? So different flowers are with the different size and shape, and then they are as uh, a different. Uh, Structure also they are having. Okay. So are all flowers colorful. And have you seen flowers of grass, wheat, maize, mango, or goa? Adela, the chola poly in a school railway track particular. Chola poly, that is, it is having somewhat yellow color, light yellow. Grass, grass, very whitish, somewhat whitish in nature. I hope you understand. Hmm? So these are all having different color, light color, light in color. Whereas attractively colored flowers are China rose, rose, now school thirty pool only and there are different flowers are present. I hope you understand. Huh? So this is for this video session number seven. Please understand we have started the structure of the flower. We will continue in the next video session. Thank you. Have a good day.